There are three factors I consider when choosing a webcam for planetary. Compatibility, type, and filter position. And I'll explain those three things. Compatibility is by far the most important aspect. A quick Google search can determine whether or not the webcam you're looking at is compatible with your PC or laptop. When I mention type, I'm referring to the shape of the webcam. Most of these round shaped webcams have detachable lenses that fit an adapter. And I'll show you that now. As you can see in this video clip, the front lens element is easily removed from the sensor. And that's important because for around $12 US, you can get this webcam imaging adapter, which will fit the 1.25 focuser of your telescope. Totally ignore any recommendations about gluing on old film canisters and that sort of thing. When I tell you it's extremely important that the webcam sensor is flat with the image plane, trust me on that. The third consideration was filter position. And what I mean by that is this IR cutoff filter. And as you can see with this webcam, it's built into the lens assembly, which I'm gonna to be tossing to the side anyway, but just to show you, they're often glued in and need to be removed. That is, if it rests directly above the sensor. You can usually pop them out with a knife, but it's a little difficult when it's located directly in front of the imaging sensor. Like I said, it doesn't matter here because we're gonna be tossing the lens assembly away. But you do need some type of IR cutoff filter, just not the one that's factory because they're plastic and they're junk. That will greatly reduce your image quality. Instead, we're gonna opt for an aftermarket one. And that can be purchased as a kit alongside with the adapter in many cases for well under $15 US. Let's pause for a second and answer why you need a UV IR cutoff filter. The simple answer is atmospheric dispersion of light. Webcams let in infrared light and it's on the opposite spectrum of blue. Longer wavelengths are refracted less than the blue and the green in a single color matrix camera such as a webcam. So by including the IR UV cutoff filter, you're greatly sharpening your image. And you'll also get that bonus on cheap non-apochromatic refractors as well. UV IR cutoff filters are widely used in astrophotography and that's why. Another benefit of using the filter is that it will block your newly exposed camera sensor from dust. You don't want to get any dust on your sensor. So just leave the IR cutoff filter on the front. You should be good to go. A whole lot easier to clean that than it is a camera sensor. So let's briefly go over modifying the camera itself. A set of technician screwdrivers will help you along the way. It's really simple. Basically, get rid of whatever mounting equipment there is. It's just dead weight. It's gonna be in your way. And typically there's two to four mounting screws. Sometimes a long screwdriver will be necessary to get in there. In most cases, they're Phillips head. It's really simple. After you remove those screws, you'll be able to gently pry the webcam apart. It's usually in two pieces with the front lens element having maybe two or three parts to it. But as long as you got the wiring harness in the right position and you remove the lens element completely, it's very easy to reassemble. I don't know, need to go into any great detail. I'm just trying to reassure you that it's a simple process. And if you picked one up for a couple dollars at a thrift store, it's worth the experience to try it yourself anybody can do it very simple process most all of these ball shaped webcams are made the same exact way so let's briefly go over why you should use a webcam for planetary imaging well atmospheric disturbance causes blurry images 
And if you've ever just tried to take a single exposure of the moon, for example, you have to use a process which is known as lucky imaging, where you just shoot multiple shots and hope for a moment of clarity in the atmosphere. With a webcam, you take short video clips and then you put that information or AVI clip into a program like Registax and it takes your best frames out of that video and stacks them to bring out detail in the object that you're focused on. This is why the webcam excels. Another reason is that it has a small sensor. As strange as that sounds, you would typically think that a larger sensor would mean better image quality, but you want to fill the frame with the object that you're focused on. And the webcam sensor is perfect for that. Here's some math to help explain the situation. And this is a really good thing to write down, so you might want to pause the video and keep this in your notes. Allow me to explain. Let's say this rectangle represents the size of our webcam sensor. On the short side, it's 2.5 millimeters in length. On the long side, it's 3.5 millimeters in length. We then take those numbers each and multiply by 3,438. On the short side, the result is 8,595. On the longer side, we end up with a result of 12,033. Now let's assume that we're using a telescope of approximately 500 millimeters of focal length. We then divide each result by 500, which is the focal length of the telescope. And that gives us a rough idea of the area of sky that we'll see when imaging with this combination. It's 17 by 24.